If you're using Windows and you're typing something and you're looking for a particular character like a degree symbol or a copyright symbol there's a brilliant tool built into Windows called Character Map. Um, to find this, if you're on Windows 8, just push the Windows key, usually found next to the control key on the keyboard, and start typing the word character, and it should come up in the results. If you're using Windows 7 or Vista, click the little sort of Windows blob in the corner, and click, click in the search box, and start typing the word character again. And if you're in XP, click on the Start menu, I think it's under Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and then Character Map, and it should be in there. So, as it sort of, this is fairly self-explanatory, you find the character you want, either double click it or click select and that also adds it to this little box click copy so if I want to type it's minus 10 and I've already copied that degree symbol so I'm going to paste it in 10 degrees outside now what you'll notice is I was typing in 14 point and where I pasted in the character from character map it's actually put it at a slightly smaller size uh, I think it's matching the size that it is in character map so you'll need to highlight that and make sure it's all the right size so just watch out for that and there's a really cool feature here, if you click advanced view we can actually search for a symbol, so if you couldn't find it, like Arial in particular has got a lot of characters and if you couldn't find say the copyright symbol I can search for it and there it is and I can uh, double click it again to add it to there or if I just click select it adds it to there and then copy and um, I can paste that in and again let's make it the right size so it matches, it's quite good. Um, and this is per font, so as you can see I'm using Arial. If I just click reset there, it shows all the characters in Arial. And if I was to pick a different font, uh, let's go with this one. As you can see there's not as many characters in this font. So if you're typing in a particular font, uh, make sure you match that font in character map to see what characters are available. Um, and also you may have noticed down here, you can actually get the shortcut for typing that particular character in. So um, we're on uh, an O there, I think with the German umlauts, and if I wanted that character and I used it quite regularly, I could learn the shortcut there. So if I go here and uh, make sure your numeric keypad switched on, hold down the Alt key, I'm going to type 0246, let go, and then you can see that character has now appeared. So if I was using that regularly, I would sort of learn that uh, keystroke there, if you like, and that would be quite handy. Um, yeah, that's it really. It's a handy tool, very good. If you're using something like InDesign, it has its own built-in sort of glyphs manager and some other programs also have that. But for those that don't, this is a very handy tool.